Hey, Hokie Nation, it's for Darius Payne, defense alignment on the Virginia Tech football team. Follow my channel on triumphnil.com and subscribe today. Well, come down to the one yard line. This is Tootin taking it to his left. Got a seam. Facial Tootin on the move. Got some alleys out there. One man to beat Tootin. Beat, beat, touchdown. Tootin took it. Cribbed it. Virginia Tech getting set to welcome Wake Forest to town for its annual homecoming game this Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on the ACC Network. Mitch Gerber alongside the former All-American Kevin Jones and head coach Brent Pry. You guys both got the uh, white memo today. I did not skip out on that one. (laughs) Sorry about that. (laughs) All right, guys, let's jump straight into (laughs) some film review. Let's start with this 99-yard kick return from Bayshaw Tootin, coach. Yeah, first of all, what a what a fantastic play. Great time in the game. Gets us back 22-17. The sidelines erupted. Uh, just really, really proud of the whole group. This is a counter return. So it starts one way and then comes back the other. Uh, we've generally brought this up their sideline. And, uh, you know, we want them to believe it's coming this way and then between the blockers and Bayshaw setting it up. We got some good running room out there for 33 to get gone. Man, Bayshaw was tooting that <laughs> rock down the side. <laughs> that was a good run there. Coach, you, I think you, you, you detailed it pretty well, so I, I don't need to jump in on that, but how he sold that up front and everybody was on their blocks. Yeah, yeah I'm going to tell good, you, you know, it's not easy one. to block guys in space like this. And Steve Gosnell, P.J. Prelu. Uh, did a great job, and then Tisdale's leading up on 23, and then Bayshaw does the rest. You know, I, I was worried right here. <laughs> I was worried. And, uh, you know, he turned it on and was had a strong finish to it. So Yeah, he was rolling. Was he but, gassed on the sideline when he went over and saw him? He was gassed. In fact, he was cramping some, um, you know, to where we said, hey, let's amp it up on yeah. the hydration yeah. and – Making sure we're our diet's right and all that. I mean, it takes a lot. Yeah. I mean, Anybody would have been gasoline. That's right. Field. I mean, that's 99 right. yards, I would have been over there throwing up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, KJ, you've so. had a, t- a few of these in your career, right? Yeah, but still, I mean, like I said, just from experience, you know, his hamstrings was probably burning. Everything was, <laughs> everything was probably on fire, especially his chest. And the last thing he wanted to do was get caught. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cassie Grizzard. Support NIL at Virginia Tech by subscribing to TriumphNIL.com today. Bayshaw Tootin, a 99-yard kick return for Virginia Tech. Let's flip towards the defensive side yep. of the football. A nice, play, a nice play right before the half, actually, uh, Coach, in this one right here. Yeah, this was, again, just kind of a good pressure, and, it, and it's a couple of guys, really. The whole pocket collapses, but... Uh, Phil Darius Payne and Narell Pollard do a great job of winning their one-on-ones. It's immediate pressure on an experienced quarterback. Uh, they, we challenged in coverage. The coverage looks pretty square, pretty tight. Gives us the pressure a chance. They're trying to run a wheel route here. They did a great job you know, up to our game getting backs out and uh, having them be uh, down the sideline quite a bit. So all in all, good coverage, good pressure. You know, We still need more of it. Uh, good move there by three by Norrell, uh, selling the outside and then the, the speed hump in. And then Phil Darius, you know, he's, he's, he's earning more and more playing time. Good low shoulder, gets his hip through, you know, and I think, uh, you know, APR does a good job too, just kind of pressing it. So good play by those interior guys for sure. No, I just like how Tisdale also on the edge was able to keep that, you know, that pocket tight so the quarterback can't scramble outside there. So, Everybody's doing their job, and when, when they do that, you know, we get good results. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think, you know, it, it's, it's, it's again, this is a, an example of coverage, pressure, mm-hmm. you know, <clears throat> nothing extraordinary, really. Just guys doing their job, winning some one-on-ones in the perimeter and in the, uh, in the pocket. How much did this help with, uh, uh, obviously, you guys scored right before this. You get this sack, close things up before the half, and then Bayshaw does what he does. How much did this help with the momentum going in the break for you? Yeah, it's amazing, right? Yeah, I mean, you talk about the way we felt at the end of the first three series of the game on each side. And then and then all of a sudden you get to this point where it's 22-10, you got momentum, you come out, you run a kickoff back, and you're like, okay, let's go. We can go win this football game still. And, uh, you know, the guys are earning confidence all the time. Uh, winning's tough. You know, we made too many mistakes early. I'm not sure if the guys were shell-shocked a little bit. We didn't look like ourselves. And they're awful good. 
I mean, you know, they're down the road on this thing with with recruiting, and, and they've got some big guys. they got some explosive guys. But uh, you know, I thought the way we battled back in it, I was proud of, the, of that for sure. Yeah, me too, even just watching watching from home. I mean, it's, hard to, it's hard to fight and get – you get down 22, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a lot of points to, to overcome, and then to also like bring get points on the board to win the game. So, got to not have a, a big hole at the in the beginning. You know, if we were able to fight and play like this the entire game, we win. So, we just got to focus on on those things and keeping consistency. That's right, that, and that's the encouraging piece when you see it for three quarters. It helps them believe. It helps the confidence. You know, there's there's the the message there that listen, we can do this. You see it here. Virginia Tech getting it, gonna get another crack at it this Saturday at 3:30 p.m. Eastern Time for their homecoming game against Wake Forest. Be sure if you are coming, not to wear black, white, maroon. It's gonna be a maroon <laughs> game inside Lane Stadium. We'll see you at 3:30 on Saturday. Awesome.